the meantime, the Minister of Health has submitted a dossier to the World Health Organization seeking a declaration to declassify human sleeping sickness as a public health concern in Kenya. Speaking at a stakeholders for Amin Kisumu on Thursday, Head of Neglected Diseases at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Wickley Fumundi, pointed out that active surveillance in six counties had shown significant decline in transmission of human sleeping sickness, with the last case being recorded in 2009. And as Laura Otieno reports, the ministry has set up 12 sites across six counties to enhance surveillance for the next five years and ensure eradication of the neglected tropical disease. According to the Ministry of Health, Kenya has met the threshold set by the World Health Organization of recording one infection in a population of 10,000 people over a period of five years, thus the presentation of the dossier to have Kenya declared free from human African sleeping sickness. According to the head of neglected tropical diseases at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Wickley Fomondi, Kenya only recorded one case of the disease in 2009 due to a multi agency approach that included the chemical control of sesaflies in endemic areas. As we document this journey, it is also great to keep alive to the fact that there could be some resurgence or reintroduction of the infection because we are neighboring countries where still reporting these active cases. The Ministry of Health is also working with partners, setting up 12 sites in six endemic counties that include Bungoma, Busia and Siaya to scale up surveillance of infections among humans and track the population of sesaflies that carry the parasite causing sleeping sickness in humans. We have been working with the Ministry of Health since 2020 to generate the data which over the five years we believe should convince WHO that the country has eliminated the disease as in there will be zero transmission of the disease. Okay. Human African sleeping sickness is one of the six neglected tropical diseases listed by the Ministry of Health that was earmarked for eradication by 2027. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV. For potential